hi thank you for watching um, this will be my 26th week uh, pregnancy vlog and if you had watched a video or you can see my videos that I haven't made a one for a very long time um, I think it's been like 10 weeks or possibly more I should have checked back but um, <laughs> I'm really sorry if you were watching and I just stopped um, I'm really sorry for myself that I did not continue to vlog through the last um, 10 weeks or so because I think it's, you know, that's why I'm doing it to record what, you know, record what I'm going through and share with anybody else that um, is experiencing the things that I'm experiencing and just kind of share my joy of, you know, our little one on our way. But anyways, um, I digress. I'm going to try and do pregnancy vlogs, if not for anybody but myself, um, you know, from now on. <laughs> So, um, I will kind of recap sort of what has been going on in the last 10 weeks or so. Um, because it is my second trimester and almost my third, not like a whole ton has really happened. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how long this gets. Um, but, you know, 10 weeks is a long time, so that is a lot of development. Um, so, let's see. We are having a boy, and we first found out on November 5th, and... Um, I knew I was having a boy like I just had this feeling that he was gonna be a boy um, since the beginning and my husband insisted it was a girl he just he thought for sure his friends were teasing him oh yeah you know it's gonna be a girl your first one not that it would have been bad of course I mean we would have been very happy either way but um, I just knew it and all of my friends and family um, except for my husband and his friends <coughs> excuse me they knew that he, it was a boy too, so uh, I think the like ultrasound tech was kind of like, oh, she's like, it's her having a boy, and I was like, oh yeah, and she's. I think she was kind of like, oh, <laughs> you must not be excited about that, because she kind of gave me a look. I'm like, no, no, it's just because I knew um, that it was gonna be a boy, so we're very excited. Um, here is the ultrasound picture um, from that oops, that visit. Um, it's not the picture of his um, potty shot because she couldn't get a picture actually so she really wasn't a hundred percent sure at first that it was a boy but she was like I would say it's safe to say it's a boy because I kept seeing his little boy part but we couldn't capture him because he kept crossing his legs and you know all that so um, you know af after that I saw my doctor and she actually told me that she wanted me to come back again for another ultrasound because they didn't get a good shot of his heart um, they needed to see all four compart what the heck all four all four parts of his heart I'm sorry I'm totally blanking out on what that's called chambers chambers yes and they couldn't see all of them not because anything was wrong but they just couldn't see him um, the way that he was because he was being a little stubborn <laughs> um, so I've been to quite a few doctor's appointments since um, we, you know, just the basic, checking my fundal height, the 20 week, um, and now every time that I go, they're checking it, and, um, they did see that I looked like I was measuring ahead by, like, maybe a few days, but they're not going to change my due date because it is only a few days, and it just doesn't make sense, so I kind of have a feeling I'll go before April 1st. I feel like it's going to be in March sometime, but who knows, it could just be wishful thinking because I want him to be here. Um... Let's see, man. I know so much time has passed, it's like hard to get that in chronicolo chronological order. Um, well, uh, you know, typical doctor's appointments that I've been having, um, except then we did go back and get another ultrasound, and my husband was actually able to go. He couldn't go with me for the first one, so that was really cool, and we verified it was a boy, and um, my husband is so excited for his little boy. I mean, we both are, but he, I knew my husband is just over the moon with most men are with their little boys and I'm sure they would be with their daughters, but you know, there's something about that. I don't know, having a boy when you're a man, just, I think it's kind of the same with a girl. Um, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, so we went back for our other ultrasound and everything seemed to be fine during that ultrasound, but then my doctor called back and um, said they want me to see the perinatal specialist for another ultrasound, for a level 2 ultrasound, because she said his water was low, 
and I guess that was like my amniotic fluid was a little low but I was really scared when I got that phone call um, because I didn't know how low and then I googled it which is like the worst thing you can do is google these symptoms and or google these things and then you see the worst case scenario and you just worry and it's not good to stress and worry when you're pregnant or at all but especially when you're pregnant um, so in the meantime while we were waiting it, I couldn't get in for like two weeks for the ultrasound so I called my doctor back and I told her and she's like I was kind of worried because two weeks is a long time especially if you have low fluids um, but I guess mine weren't that low to be like super high risk or anything like that so um, you know I just had to wait till um, December 11th I think we had our ultrasound and um, during that meantime, I had to go to the labor and delivery unit, and it's kind of TMI, but whatever. Um, I kind of had like a lot of fluid leakage in that area, and I ended up, you know, having to change like underwear a couple times. I'm sorry, it's gross, but um, <laughs> I, I was kind of worried because I had Googled all that stuff, and I think it just kind of like was okay, I'm gonna called my doctor and um, she said anything after 20 weeks you need to go to labor and delivery for just to make sure that everything is fine and I went there and they even like wheeled me in there they wouldn't let me walk and I mean I felt kind of like silly I'm like is this really labor and delivery worthy but you know you always want to go down just to make sure so I went there and they checked and it wasn't amniotic fluid and I guess that you can just have a lot more like discharge and things like that when you're pregnant but I hadn't noticed quite as much and I think I just kind of freaked myself out about the fluid having low fluid levels and that was leaking amniotic fluid and so they checked they you know they had the um, you know that monitor on me to see if I was having contractions and the monitor his heartbeat and I wasn't so you know they just sent me home and I actually even though I'm you know I'm glad that I'm healthy and I'm I wish I didn't have to go there at all I was really excited or at least before delivery <laughs> um, I was kind of excited to meet the nurses and like kind of see the hospital because I hadn't been there before and I was a little nervous about going to the hospital that we were planning to have our baby at because it wasn't the one exactly that I wanted but I was so happy with the nurses they were so nice and so welcoming and um, you know they were just like oh you know we hope we see you you know in April or March and you know we hope we don't see you soon and but they were just like very, just very nice and comforting and I feel good that I'm going to be having my baby there and you know I'm very happy that I have my doctor at all situated even though it's not the midwife that I had originally wanted but it was just a reassuring feeling. Um, yeah so that was kind of my little scare. Um, and then we did go to the ultrasound, the 2D ultrasound, 2D, not 2D, level 2 ultrasound at the perinatal specialist and it was like a really cool um, experience to see him because it was um, another f how many weeks further maybe three or four weeks further but I, I mean there's just like so much development they grow so much like every time you see them it's like amazing um, and you know we saw him kicking around and his mouth open and um, he was being stubborn again and so as soon as like the um, ultrasound tech put the probe on my stomach, he rolls over, and so she's trying to get the measurements, again, more of his heart, and then the fluid levels, and he's kind of not cooperating, and like, oh, yeah, it's gonna be like his dad, stubborn, <laughs> but, um, you know, everything went pretty good with the, um, two, two, level two ultrasound, and we spoke to the perinatal specialist doctor, and he said that my fluid level is a little bit low, for the average but it's not anything to be too concerned about I guess anywhere from 16 to 32 weeks your fluid levels are going up 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 and then from 32 to 36 they drop significantly so he wants to see me back on 30 week on my 30 week 30 in my 30th week to check and make sure that the levels are fine but he said normally when women have lower fluids they you know they check the kidneys and see everything is he has enough fluid in there and everything was perfectly fine with that and but normally when you have lower fluids your baby can um, tend to be smaller or a little less nourished um, you know just tend to be a little bit underdeveloped yeah 
underdeveloped would be the right word, I guess. And he's not. Um, he's in the 65th percentile for his size, and he weighed 1.10 ounces at that appointment, and I believe it was 24 weeks. I think. Yeah, it was 24 weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really cool to see him in there again, and, you know, it just it's so amazing when you see them moving around in there and, uh, you know, when you start feeling the movement, which is, of course, I have started feeling movement and um, I felt him roll over and it's such a weird feeling when he does that. Um, and then little kicks, which kind of feel like a fish flopping out of water. It kind of at first was like weird, like I didn't, didn't like it, which is horrible to say, but it was just like, I don't know, this is such a weird feeling because I never, obviously I've felt it before, but um, now I'm just like so excited and I was like, come on, baby, you know, I want to show his dad and he, of course, he hasn't been able to feel it yet. Um, every time he moves, <laughs> the baby moves, my husband comes to like put his hand on my belly or something and he can't catch him. So hopefully, um, I think the movement now from like 26, 27 weeks, um, they start to move, um, you know, like a lot more, you can actually like see them moving in your stomach. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to catch him doing that soon. <laughs> um, um, let's see, symptoms in this trimester, the second trimester, have not been bad. I've been feeling great. Um, I've been sick. Uh, I'm getting, I'm not really sick anymore, but I was sick um, last week, week and a half ago with a cold. And that really sucked because you can't take anything except for Tylenol and I didn't want to. Um, but I was miserable. <laughs> it was a very bad cold. I have had like a little bit of a fever. I don't think it was a flu. I had my flu shot, but, and it wasn't as bad as a flu, but it was really bad cold. Um, so if you're pregnant or if you know somebody that's pregnant, do not, please stay away from them if they're, if you're sick because pregnant women have lower immune systems and they can't take anything to help themselves when normally the cold wouldn't maybe be so bad. So, um, that was kind of crappy and I'm still congested and I actually heard that you can be congested, um, just naturally, um, during pregnancy. So, I don't know, maybe this won't go away. <laughs> I hope it does because it's harder to breathe and I feel like I'm like <sighs> every second trying to catch my breath. Um... And, you know, it's a little uncomfortable when you're sleeping and you're laying down and you have the congestion, but not a really a big deal. Um, you know, definitely something I can handle way better than the morning sickness, um, which I haven't had any. I've heard that you can get it back at the end of your pregnancy, so I hope that that doesn't happen. Um, but feeling pretty good for now, for the most part. I have had a little bit of um, sciatica pain, which is some days fine and other days bad and you can't, it's hard to walk, it hurts, um, but you know, really it's, I'm blessed to feel as good as I do. I know some women do not, you know, they have that HG, um, you know, that extreme morning sickness the whole time or they have other issues and I, um, you know, I just feel blessed for the, what I have now and I try not to complain and get too down on those days when I'm not feeling as well because I know your body's just natural. Your body's growing another life inside of it and it's working hard. <laughs> so, um, you know, really I can't think of any other symptoms that I've been having other than that. Some knee pain, a little bit of swelling. I've noticed some swelling on my nose. Not as much today, but I, I have noticed that on and off. So, uh, everything seems to be normal with my um, blood pressure. I have had like a couple of experiences where it was high, but it was under like high pressure situations like at the hospital and um, when I had my um, glucose test, my one hour glucose test, which I passed. I'm so excited because I heard that I just had that last week and I've heard that you can, um, a lot of women pa fail that and then they have to do the three hour one and the glucose test, I'm sure you know, is like a sugary drink that you have to drink and then they take your blood one hour later to check your levels and mine were in the normal range. However, because I have a history of diabetes and I'm overweight, I don't have a history, I have a family history of diabetes and I'm overweight, the doctor just wants to do another one hour one, which is fine. Um, so I'll have that in about two weeks or so. And just, you know, just checking and kind of disappointed that I have to do it again, but you know, whatever my doctor recommends, it's got to be, you know, probably just a safety precaution and 
because the baby is measuring a little big, maybe they just want to keep an eye on him. I don't know. <laughs> but everything's pretty um, healthy and super excited. We're going to have a 4D HD <laughs> ultrasound um, next, not next week, not this coming week, the week after it. So that'll be January 8th, I think. And we're going to hopefully see his little face and I'm super excited to see who he's going to look like. I mean, I know you can't see like eye color or hair color or maybe even hair at all, but you can see kind of like the facial structure and um, sometimes you can catch them like, yawning and they give you like a little video and it's an elective ultrasound and um, I decided to just go ahead and do it. I really... I really want kind of like, you know, those special things. I don't know, maybe it's just like a first baby thing, but <clears throat> I think it's worth it, you know, having his little memory book, his baby book. So, you know, that's what's up going on with 26 weeks. Um, I will go ahead and show my belly and I will show the next next week um i will update next week and i will also show my uh, 40 ultrasound because this one is really you know kind of this is from november so was not very far along but you can see he's so cute I'm, i can already tell um but anyways yeah i'll show my my belly which has really expanded <laughs> um so i will do that now again forgive me i don't have editing software this is not professional i'm just you know, I'm just trying to show you. So, kind of an awkward spot. Um, so I have this kind of like fleece on. So yeah, you can definitely see um, I have gotten quite the bump. I'm not gonna show you again the bare belly unless somebody really wants to see it. I think you can see enough bump shots and it's not a pretty belly. <laughs> um, so here's the front view. Uh, my belly button has not popped. Um, I guess I think I didn't show you that. But, anyways. Yeah, my belly button has not popped. I haven't gotten a linea negra, and I don't think I will because I'm pretty pale, pale skin. And I think a lot of pale skin women don't get that. Um, I don't have any stretch marks yet. I won't be surprised if I get some. I have been using the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Cream. And I like how that feels and smells, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, whatever, you know. It's your little battle scars, I guess, <laughs> if you do get them. Um, I accept it because I had gotten them during puberty, and I already have some that have faded, and I know that it's not a big deal. <laughs> so, feeling 26 weeks, almost 20, actually, I'm going to be 27 weeks tomorrow. No, Monday. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so this is, you know, my 26th, end of my 26th week, and I'm feeling great, and I'm excited that I finally have recorded my video, and I will see you next week at the end of 27 or beginning of 28 weeks. Thank you.